Because, but in the Bible times, Africa fish, uh, features a lot. Prominently. 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 You know, the, even Ethiopians. You know, Ethiopians are not as black as... Yes. Yeah. But then, they were... Sana. They were black. They were black. And I think, yes, there was an interrelationship with them mm -hmm. and Israelites. And Israelites. Because they keep saying, and this is another thing I don't find out, mm -hmm. Solomon and uh, by, uh, Queen of Sheba, mm -hmm. see wisdom peke alibeba? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nine months later! <laughs> and there's an element of truth in that. Yeah. There's an element, a very serious element of truth. Because the Bible is edited. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new exciting show. Hmm. Leo ni Leo, Maze. I tell you. This is Celeb Quest. Let me do the introduction. This is Celeb Quest A to Z. Basically, you are just having a conversation, asking questions from letter A to letter Z. And today, my guest, my goodness. Hmm. I had a bio written <laughs> to read. But uh, how, how do you describe somebody? A living, let me say, a living legend. A living icon, because on this show we have extraordinary icons, where we have elegant conversations. You get me? So this somebody, a brief intro, because I can't do justice to this, honestly. How? Yeah. How? Unleash, unleash, unleash. Let me try. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure and honor to introduce to you a man. The man, not a man. No, 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 no. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. The legend. Yeah. Over twenty-four years in the music industry, hits after hits after hits. I'm not saying local hits, no, global hits. This man has been consistent. Let me tell you, energy akonayo. <laughs> Atam Toto Hana. No, for real. Ah. If you have ever seen him perform, my goodness. Aneza Kimbia. As in, man. Aneza Ruka. As in, I'm not saying I can't, but I can. I can. I ran. I ran. I ran out of money. I ran. <laughs> but him, he runs physically. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think by now, Shanza could guess who I'm talking about. This is a man who brought you from 24 years ago. Hey, yes biggest hits we. after hits after hits. How did Gen Z wana mjua? Squeeze kila mali unapatanga Gen Z. Kwa taka waya. Kwa taka kwa taka kwa taka kwa taka. Kwa ujisa hii. Log out. Kwa ujisa hii. Log out. Nile Gen Z na kuja after Z. Na Gen Z. Gen Z. Ni Z sana hiyo. Gen Z. Alpha. He's a doctor. You never forget that. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and let's welcome Dr. Mbuvi to the show. Who are you talking about? Am I the wrong person here? No, no, no. No, 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 bro. That's <coughs> Jefanya justice, man. Ah, no, because I, because I, because I. Thinks, as in, legendary icon. Neema, bana. Neema ya tosha. Neema ya tosha. Neema ya tosha. It's a good thing. Ah, man. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. It's an honor, man. I'm humbled. Akitua, the first hit, one of the many hits, nilikuwa mtoto bad. Uwe, uina chao mash. Uwe, kawe, 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 Ile Gen Z na to record sa hii, walikuwa wapi. Sasa, wacha ni kwambio. You know one of the ways, you know, unazeeka sasa. Unukuna na katoi after show. Kwa nisema, ah, cha, 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 cha. Arusi yangu ni February. And my father is your fan. Arusi yako. My father is your fan. My father is the fan. Actually, the father-in-law. So it's a gift to my father-in-law. Kuja. Unasema, wow, nikunova, nikunova. But nema inatosha. Mm. Right, let's start this. Welcome to Celeb Quest. 
Celeb quest tunafanya vitu very simple. Mm-hmm. We start from A to Z. Z to Z. So the first question starts with the letter A. Okay. Now, hey, eh eh. Eh hizi Leo ni hello ni mtiani sasa unajua umenitesa umeni because umesema ni doctor sasa atakuwa na marking scheme sasa ungenda mazia ungea katini hata ni kunya kahawa kahawa baridi mm. now aha moment now just just if you could have an aha moment an aha moment that's a war moment with any artist okay. mm-hmm. dead or alive who would it be and what would you discover together alive yeah. there's a guy called Soli Malangu he's from Malangu. South Africa uh-huh. the guy who gave you the song oh brigado ta na 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 wa hamba na ti that guy eh cuz i like the way he's able to fuse psych energy good vocals uh-huh. and a great show and na haishi as in he i apotele pote pote as in when he gives you that loss it's crazy it's crazy so mm-hmm. that's that's one guy mm-hmm. i pen and there's another guy called uh, i keep forgetting his name you know jingo maya bahati ya umefanya mambo oh the one they, they borrowed DK. from ah, now that, that guy yes. the guy they borrowed from mm-hmm. that is a guy I'd love to 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 kutana with yes. and hook up with he's from congo okay. no masana yeah. Yeah. So those two those two yeah ndio nazitaka wa like we have a moment and do music yeah. yes yes outside music outside music somebody that you would like to have that aha moment discover something together who would it be outside music dead or, al- dead or alive wakitambo wasahi they're still they're, they're all alive that's a good thing and i keep ah, learning there's a guy called joseph prince joseph prince he's a preacher mm-hmm. he's from singapore okay. Mimi nataka kujua tu hii bible yake ni ile nasoma bado ama nyingine. Cuz the things he chambua from that scripture are crazy. What? You're like what's going on? Mm-hmm. And then the guy some of the things you freak for example. One minute I'm going to put a statement deeper than deep that you never heard before. Mm-hmm. The next sentence he's singing a chorus by Michael Jackson. And I said do you remember that him? So you're like what is this guy? So He's, a, he's, he's, he's an amazing guy he's fusing and he's those guys hey can you say na zama what are these what is this guy he's a cinema pep lakini ile kitu anakutolea a bible mm-hmm. heavy and that guy on another topic umetaja let me ask him mm. what's your opinion on the people who use like a secular song to preach you know unazenda service mm. sikia pastor amesema kama venye kuna muimbi alimba ataje a secular song yes na imbe si no 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 eh. ana flow nayo yes what's your view on that it depends you know there's there's a lot of wisdom people have mm-hmm. and it's you see everything that god created is created by wisdom knowledge and understanding we all have that yeah. even in a lot of the music like what we were talking as we were coming and some of the music from the 80s 90s 2000 yes. there it's music that not necessarily gospel but has good content good and even content. if it's love music yes. it has serious it's awesome content eh macha ni kwa kama au ma pastor kwa jamaa inaitwa Lionel Richie yeah. <laughs> hello is it me you're looking <laughs> for you know cuz i wonder where you are i wonder mm-hmm. what so the moment we started grabbing phones that is something you'd want and, is yeah. it me you're looking for you know it's a, it's a phone call it's yes. something that would happen yes. so so it makes a lot of sense if some of us think it makes sense cool mm-hmm. bible david in the bible yeah. sang a psalm i can't remember which psalm mm-hmm. but he sang to the tune of music from gath gath is where goliath came from goliath mm-hmm. came from a secular place so that was happy music oh, okay. he picked that the tune and he sang to and god with it, it. Oh. so me i am i'm cool Hajile tena mtajala na Richie. Eh? Jenzi. Jenzi omenda. La no Richie. To explain him. Yes. Google. Google him. Google na Richie. Google la the legend and that's a legend. Musically. Oh yo 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 yo. And he's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. And he's still looking fresh. You wouldn't believe he's almost 70. He doesn't look it. He looks awesome. the power of music the power of music power of music now <laughs> do you love animals yeah re- yes 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 animals? yes now assuming animals could talk which animal would you like to talk to and what would you talk about <laughs> lion 
definitely lion mm -hmm. and knights the lion it's not necessarily it's huge but it's not the biggest there's elephant yeah, there's, there's elephant. giraffe yeah. how are you able to exude so much confidence in paka we call you the king of the jungle mm -hmm. how do you do that yet i know a, a hippo can stir you and even mm -hmm. I, i was watching a documentary juicy a lion yeah. thought uh, there's a hippo that is dead mm -hmm. it can approach it can approach it can approach it can kuma hippo it can before the lion could run ikai bite mdomo yote ikai pasua yet when you talk about lion and hippo you will say lion is stronger yeah. lion and crocodile lion is stronger. stronger so are you able to exude that confidence and also how do you feel when you roar and the whole jungle jungle shakes how does that feel when you're walking and you know they walk majestic how does that feel how does that feel Now, as a lion You're not a lion. Na kuona sana. Ndio ever lion. You have to roar first. He's a lion. So yeah, that's a lion. A lion yes. And a bird how it feels to soar in the sky, especially Man, eagles. The eagles. They say the eagle is the only creature mm -hmm. that can stare with the naked eye. Uh, naked usikie mali nafikiria. Naked as in eh? Na yangalie jua hivi. Ah, bila hiyo kumesiwa. That's number two. Number three. When it rains and some birds hide from the rain the ego goes above, above the, the clouds. clouds number four, <coughs> they say times crows crows like har harassing eagles mm -hmm. crow in a land on top of an eagle nikai but a lift na bado utaona eagle liki shake inasema sawa in a fly mpaka above those clouds the air becomes so thin the crow is not able to breathe inaruka inatoka how does that feel wow. That's amazing about animals. The, another fact that yeah, is it the same bird that can spot something uko yes. chini juu? It's the eagle. It can see from from CG forever ago. Even on uh, on water fishing, inakujanga vup ime grab na imeenda. Mm -hmm. Then they say how how the true this story is, I don't know, but mm -hmm. Miles Mondro said this, so it must be true. Mm -hmm. At around the age of about I think they stay almost the same lifestyle as a human being but you need let's mm -hmm. say it if a half its life age mm -hmm. nanga at a very high um, what's it called mountain or clip or i mean nanga kujificha huko mm -hmm. inatoa it's a painful process inatoa mabao manini ma is it ngoni manyoya yose si manyoya mm -hmm. feathers zote feathers, yeah. inatoa hata big inakuwa ni kaki bloody pulp mm -hmm. so it has to be another trusted eagle that will feed him yani feed it but after that kumbe it's making way for new wings new new big new claws It, oh, up, it is stronger, faster, and crazier. Damn. That's the king of the air, man. That the eagle is bad news. Yeah. Number four, five. Nyonge za eagle ingine moja. Wende. Sasa wanasema anga sasa eagle ikitunza toto ito wake. Mother mother eagle. Sasa katoika kifika certain age. Mhm. Mm Inakabeba inanako. Then eh ni the law of the jungle kuifunza inaiachilia. Katika na jungle what's going on? Yaani ita age kifika fast eje yake ikifika ya kutoka kwa nini kwa nest fast hizo nest imeanza kuwa kubwa ni hizo nest imeanza ku replicate kaa kadogo yeah. nikaa ni comfortable but kuna kuna comfort yes. then mother anakubeba anakuachilia kakenda kwenda kwa kuna changani aje inarudisha kanatulia two days three days four days ah tanafanya hivi na zirudi huko kwenda huko kumbe that's a fast lesson ah. that's an ego i'd like to know and i like to know how do those animals learn that now there's animal ingine moja there's a butterfly mm -hmm that flies from africa mm -hmm. to europe yeah it's, it's a bird there are birds that do that and there's a certain butterfly yes butterfly in yes. Na... yes yes from africa, africa to africa to some place in i think watch morocco morocco mm -hmm. is bordered with what is it spain yeah, the streets of yeah. gibraltar yeah. up or across it shall the life the, the life time yake is not enough to come back so kifika hapo hata ikizana ni nini ni ikidedia hapo The young ones are able to travel from there back. all the way back to here. How do they know the route map? What? How do they gra grab the route map? Even <laughs> bad, how do they grab the route map? So there's quite a number of animals that actually ask many questions from. <laughs> As in it's Nanyoka na tangu kuuliza is it ikijiuma? Hiyo poison inaweza iwa. You know when you bite yourself and you're chewing something. Nyoka ikijiuma. What happened? Am I poisonous to myself? <laughs> Those are the animals. Animal whisperers. Those, you know, like, hey, yeah, yes. Animals. yes, they are. Yes, they are, and they understand. So I don't know. Ningependa, ningependa, son. Hey, as in how God created 
everything, man. It's, it's, it's beyond. That's why this God amazing. Even before I get, you see, we haven't even gotten to the Bible. Even before you get to the Bible, you just see how amazing God can be. How does he do that? Can you mean you can't keep on to evening. But then, well, think of a brand new. Because women have never told us what, what happened. <laughs> So. And from that time onwards, things have been crazy. Yeah, things, uh, bana, things have been crazy, bana. But if, what are you guys? What are you ladies what are you talking about? Uliambi uliambi wa nini na nyoka? Hmm? Nyoka, uliambi wa nini juu? We don't trust them to tell us the truth. Nyoka, now, you're talking to the snake. But I think, at, well, in fact, these ladies, waliaka secret ya nyoka, I think they're the ones who named snakes vipers. I think they meant they vibe vibers like you know I can see. Don't you notice? Alikuwa kale. Alikuwa kale. Sema vibe. I give you the vibe. Vibers. Anyway, we are sorry. But anyway, we shall know one day. We shall know. We shall know. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. Turn the B. Ala, bado tuko hapo. Yes, I'm not away. Dear Lord. Turn the B. Do you watch what kind of movies do you like before Nicolas Wally? I like I like a uh, thriller definitely mm-hmm. action definitely mm-hmm. um it is a superhero pia napenda uongo kidogo fiction fiction, fiction. eh hey, napenda hizo ma, ma movies guys umejiingiza tu box vizuri eh ngaja 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 building a time machine what moment from history would you choose to witness and why jesus time of course mm-hmm. It's a, it's a, in fact, I grab all those movies. Mm-hmm. Not just Jesus Time. Mm. Any, you know, epic. I forgot to tell you even epic, epic movies. Yeah. Jesus Time and those cultures of horse riding, ah, mini palaces, yes. those things. Yes. Aladdin times, you know those things. Mm-hmm. Those are things I'd want to go back to. Just have a feel Aladdin of how was, was it. No, it wasn't really. But that oh. fiction gives you a time plane of those times. You never know, maybe. Well, no. yeah, of course. So I would love to see that. Number two. Mm-hmm. One of the one of the journeys I'd like to find out is, did did Africa Jesus time have a road network? You know why? Because there's a whole Ethiopian eunuch yes. coming from Israel, going back to the homeland in a carriage. A carriage can only travel on road. Yes. So, well, so was Africa further developed than we thought? The other thing is uh, now those days we keep hearing about Egypt and how powerful it was. It was, yeah. But there are people who think now Egypt at that time, mm-hmm. the guys ruling were actually blacks. Mm-hmm. I really want to find out, is that true? They only change color when now, now uh, we need to say, mm-hmm. Islam came, Islam taking came, over, blah, yeah. blah, 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 and all that. I'd like to know. Mm. Maybe there's a... Uh, that's, that's interesting. It's very clear. <laughs> it's very interesting. Because, but in the Bible times... Africa fish, uh, features a lot. Prominently. 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 You know, the, even Ethiopians. You know, Ethiopians are not as black as... Yes. Yeah. But then, they were... Sana. They were black. They were black. And I think, yes, there was an interrelationship with them mm-hmm. and Israelites. And Israelites. Because they keep saying, and this is another thing I don't find out, mm-hmm. Solomon and uh, by, uh, Queen of Sheba. Mm-hmm. See, wisdom peke alibeba. Oh. <laughs> Nine months later! <laughs> and there's an element of truth in that. Yeah. There's an element, a very serious element of truth. Because the Bible is edited. Y- yes. To yes. Some yes. It's edited because the whole focal point is the birth of Jesus. Yes. This isn't any side. Uh, so, so you'll find other sources of information. Mm-hmm. It's called biblical history. It is not really the Bible, mm-hmm. but history. history of the Bible. It's like if you start writing a story about me from when I was born until all this time, there will definitely be a topic about you because you're my friend. Yeah. But we may not even, in that, because the story is about me, we may not go deep we into, into it. it but if we now go in terms of movie core related history, we'll find yes. so much more content about you. Ah, yes. That's not necessarily directly. directly yeah. They also so say the Ark of the Covenant. It has a quick up, Ethiopia. Till now. Till now. In fact, they say the Ethiopian eunuch was a high delegation dele- delegate. Mm-hmm. One of the things he was sent by the queen then was called Candace. So she, she, she was probably he was probably sent because they know they are supposed to present it to Jesus. So he was probably sent because his heart is a Messiah. Kuzika kuna Messiah na nataka kujakufanya ndio arudi ndio apeleke. Alaske jamaa medai. Asanga what's going on? So now they are analyzing they are kind of asema bad. They even say 
the Ethiopian Bible mm-hmm. has pictures, drawings of course, mm-hmm. showing that Jesus actually went to Ethiopia. Because that whole region was called Egypt anyway. So mm-hmm. when Jesus came to hide in Egypt, you know, there's a whole lot of vibe. Africa has a lot of vibe that is not really written, but it's there. So kuna possibility. Kama lili Yesu alifika Ethiopia. Alikosa lipitia Moyale. Ya, kwa nini Moyale? Sekengi ya Kenya. Ni possible. Ni possible. There are people who say hii ark inaweza kuwa hata iko hapa karibu na Mount Kenya. Eh, you never know. Eh. Ona vile amefurahi. Yaani story imemjaza, yani imemjaza na naikwao. Ndio kesema ni kwa village yao. Yeah, he is related to Jesus cousin wa Yesu. Great grand cousin, great grand. You never know, you never know. As in hey. Kuna vitu mbovu sana. So, if I can travel I'd like to see those things. Ngi hiyo time usikie. Cuz okay, me for me I think Yesu nazataka hiyo time ya Yesu. Uh key thing nazataka especially during that time ningeta witness ni time pia ya Moses. Acha 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 hiyo ni namba. You see the way you know hiyo time hakukua na masi. Yeah. There was no gr- <laughs> as in <laughs> ukikosea hapo hapo sasa hiyo hiyo god <laughs> na ukipatikana hapo hivyo sasa hata wewe hata wewe. <laughs> <Ata> wewe. <laughs> <laughs> But ningependa sana especially ku witness how they were moving from Egypt. Hiyo safari to Canaan. As in cause there's some things you read in the bible and you understand and unaona like mazi i would love to ninge but i mazi ni jione si iki iki part you know hiyo ni noma na fero akiswalu ana hiyo na hiyo nini yote and then una timu na rushwa chakula kutoka juu like literally when god says it food ina toka kutoka juu na mnangua chukua yenye tu itawatosha leo hiyo ni noma noma mazi hiyo ni noma na nguo zao unajazi ku change Yeah. they never change clothes mm-hmm. so that means if you are growing if you are two years old you know they were there for 40 years gotcha. i'm serious they were on the villages for 40 years 38 so nguo zao kama ni kiatu inagoro na wewe kama ni trao inagoro na wewe kama ni shati inagoro na wewe i think so umeona movie mingi but it's the truth it is the truth iko hivyo if you study una fight hivyo then you know how many people those guys were Well, I mean, probably two to three million. And then imagine traveling for 40 years, bro. Crazy. Hata tujafika. Crazy. 40 years, bro. Ni mnatembea. Mnatembea. Mnapiga hiyo jani. Na hiyo jani ingechukua tu. Hata ingechukua lo. Tuliangalia Google Maps. Six Mika days. Karibu eh. Ngoja. Ni umwende kutoka 40 day 40 years. Mlitumia route gani? <laughs> Sasa God alikuwa anataka mhm wa kuwa strong enough ni kama vile you're being prepared for Canaan where they were going to go they were giants their people they were going to fight mm-hmm. but he wanted to build their faith in just two years and within those two years wafike mm-hmm. so when they said then in fact right after those two years i think about two years you are to match piles mm-hmm. when Caleb, they were on walikuwa ni Caleb na nani Caleb Joshua na wale wengine 10 mm-hmm. so Caleb mm-hmm. Joshua kasema huko twende ni kumnoma au ni wakasema kulikuwa giants hatuwezi enda so because of that wakasema wewe zienda baada akasema sawa simesema mtaki kwenda mtakaa hapa for another 38 years mkipiga lap <laughs> so they were just rotating in the same place the same. then you know they said what we cannot go there with our children wakamba sasa mm-hmm. watu wenyewe ndio wataingia nyia mwingi yeah because even Moses didn't go Moses didn't make it wow yo yo na kwa interesting sana is the time still is the time still ha hey Pendeletu. <laughs> tume build time machine tume travel na tume run. Now we are back. We are back. <laughs> Bath tab ama shower. Shower, mimi mbio mbio na card na nikikaa hapo nikifanya nini? Shower. <laughs> so mambo za bank. Ta, dakika nne tano umetoka umeenda. <laughs> Bath tab. <laughs> Una my dream. Sitaenda kwa swimming pool ni kasim. No, but right. bathtub, you know, is a bathtub and the jacuzzi is like you nakatu hapo na meditate. Bro. Okay. But now the problem is ni moja usilale. Bas. Okay. See what happened to Whitney Houston? What happened to, her, to the daughter? Mazi. Bathtub na joke doze we. Umeenda? I'm drown. I'm drown. Una go mko na. Bathtub ni kwa ni. Ni mumweza. Eh, sio nataka kuja. Boxer so briefs. Boxer. Oh. 
Freedom is coming tomorrow. <laughs> Mimi ndio tu wimbo is not related to the question. <laughs> yani wimbo nimekupa tu sana fina na la place ningetembea. That's all. Si hata tu sasa inafaa kuimba hapa. Nimeimba tu wimbo. Ila wimbo imekuja nika hii. Freedom. Bas. Freedom is coming to tomorrow. <laughs> no. Anyway, ni mwanzo hapo ni just having fun. <laughs> Whatever you do with that information mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No by way nasema <laughs> whoever said the sunset free is free indeed hallelujah <laughs> Mimi nilikuwa kwa scripture Wala ina tuko bi Tunde si Aya Now See we gonna start with the word crossover With it word crossover crossover now how do delegate uh, delicate uh, navigate the delicate balance between creating music for the mainstream audience while staying true to the gospel what you need for me it's leave the gospel uh-huh. read leave let let it become part uh-huh. and parcel of, of you yeah so when i create music i'm not thinking how do i balance uh-huh. the music should just be an offshoot of who you are Ukingana ndo tapata sasa nini mtu anaimba kitu. Hai make sense lakini mkumeko kwa Jesus hapa unashangaa sasa haka kameko kwa nini hapa. Kingine kameko. So at the end of the day if you tell me let's go and record right now cuz I overflow in the word of God. That's that's the only thing I'll sing. Whatever I'll sing about be it patriotism, be it about boxers or briefs, whatever I'll sing it will have the nature and the character of who I am. Who's that character? Make sure I feel myself with Jesus so much that whatever I speak in word and deed word and deed word the music in word too mm-hmm. with melody yeah. it's all jesus oriented if i sing a patriotic song it's jesus oriented if i sing about this office it's jesus oriented mm-hmm. my perspective of life mm-hmm. ni yeah. so if i sing that's what i'm going to sing mm-hmm. yeah wow. so it starts with you balancing yourself yes. so that whatever else you produce you see christianity is like measles me what is to me and measles kuna generation gen z ya juu measles ni nini oh. christianity ni kama corona mali utasimama tu utai spread ah, yes. whatever you do utai spread nikikushika ime ku spread nikikoa ime spread so if i sing ime spread if i speak you see even when i travel this journey is bado mm-hmm. ime spread okay. nikiongea juu ya freedom akokuwa briefs kuza yesu so <laughs> 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 Enzi za Yesu kulikuwa na boxer za mabri sama walikuwa na watu kwa kuna kitu walikuwa wanajifunga huku hiyo kama eh, taza right hand and then and then now eh, eh, kama taza exactly eh. mm-hmm. yeah masi taza ni au alafu Yesu unajua Yesu wa kinini hoja lakini Yesu wa kimcrucify hako mm-hmm. amefungua hiyo kitu he was naked kabisa what that is why one of the guys cuz i used to think he's breaking all the laws uh-huh. so when he was hung, hung out i, ap- I really I, I apologize for the center camera lakini itabidi aisikie when he was hung up there uh-huh. you one of those guys akaona akasema nyaa you son of god kwa sababu aliona nini identifier what is the id card for born again that mean for you that's the position bas that's how they were able to see That guy was embarrassed in all manner of forms. All all all. Imagine kwa ni kwa ndi live na madhako wako hapa na kuona. Sasa hiyo akobizi akiambia John this is your mother take care of your mother. <laughs> While he's hanging he's still hanging. Tunaongea juu ya Yesu. Yeah yes. Hanging on the cross. Hanging on the cross. On the cross. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but but the movies don't show that bit. they can't show that no they can't show you can show that sasa the show will be pg yeah and they want it to be seen by everyone so you edit eh, but a little ali, bit alikapitia 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 ali bible ina samanga in fact there's some this, this it doesn't totally totally describe in fact it has even bible has edited the things he went through Mm-hmm. Even in the New Testament, do you know there are two places instances mm-hmm. he's talk he's walking with his disciples. Watu mm-hmm. anatembea na yeye. Na wanatembea kitu ka 12 kilometers. Na anamuuliza what has gone on anajieleza na wajajua ni yeye. 
<laughs> no clue. Yeah, I remember that story. They have no clue. They have no clue to Jesus. Yeah. Until the last minute. Until, uh, you know, when you went to their... Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. When you went to their... To their home now. Mm-hmm. See, I may come. Yeah. So, aka 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 break bread. Mm-hmm. You know what he did? He was in the in the Bible, in the breaking of bread, they were in Yesu. Let me show you how. Mm-hmm. See, they bread. Mm-hmm. See, now I'm breaking bread. Yeah. In the breaking of bread, what will you see? That's when they realized. Ah, the holes. Yeah, the holes. That's when they realized. So one of the things that, that is in Isaiah 52, 53, mm-hmm. that they did to Jesus, is not described in the New Testament. Because one of the things they did, they pulled all his beards. So he had no beard. He had a beard, 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 and he had a beard. Yes, he had a beard. So imagine some other wild devil was itakuchukua sometime kabla recognize. Mm. So, wa kumjua. And then plus the marks amepigwa kila mahali. Unasemanika hizo vibako alipigwa ni 39 lashes eh. Mhm. Hiyo lash iko na inaitwa flagellum. Iko na nika tuseme I'm coming for you. Ni kama iko hivi na it split in many and then it has bone endings. So, so okay rwadwa inangoangozi na so 39 times so unakaa kaa kinyama tu na si ati ni sporadic ati wana save sura yako wana maliza boy kila mahali so what was he looking like the people was say cuz in the movies yesu when he was like this good looking guy yeah. And, yeah. and there's some people who argue out that even in the bible the description of jesus was not a good looking person mm-hmm. actually the bible says He had no stately form mm-hmm. he had no majesty that we should be drawn to him akwa tu even if he was super handsome mm-hmm. beyond any other person then they would have had trouble when they were coming to look for him in the garden of gethsemane asking who is he mm-hmm. so judas spots. alisema whoever i will kiss msichukule vibaya ili kwa culture ya waarabu angatu hivyo hiyo samani but still did still did mm. si ndio ndio culture yeah. yao wako hivyo tu wako hivyo tu so akamgusa hapo ndio akaja oh ndio hiyo So how do you pick from the crowd? Damn. Lafa pa even mnajifanya tio I'm handsome. Fearfully and wonderfully made. <laughs> no, Sorry. it's okay. They are fearfully and wonderfully made. Maybe some of them are more fearfully than wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> They are more fear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Leo ni kombora, amta kombora. This is the lab quest. Even if you kuna no holding back. No holding back. All in back. Tuna move. Yani but it's interesting how you understand the word of God. Very few people, and I want to say very few people because I've interacted with a lot of people, not a lot but a lot of people in the same uh, field, mm. same uh, industry. You see the way you bring in out the word you see the way you understand even beyond what is in the bible yeah because it's true the bible it has that what you Kuna know element eh hey, there's more to let it let me ask have you studied theology no and yes no and yes Officially, no not in no. school not in school but for myself i do my own research because oh. how do i think about a person and i don't know so much I excellently about them oh. no no he knows things that people who have gone to theology school i'm not saying myself but people who have gone to theology school <laughs> do not even know you've said so much without saying it anyway ni leva naomba kurudishwa school fees ana na theology school gani basi kumaliza bo au kumaliza kwani walikuwa naipeleka vector gani Let me tell you, apart from the biashara, I'll be honest with you. There is no topic as interesting as a topic of Bible and of Jesus. The only problem could be whoever who whoever was delivering it. Actually, the school was good. Yeah. The school was good. Uh, we studied as in the education bit for me was good. Oh, yeah. I think one of the things in Fanyani because for me when I go to school I'm not about papers that I will get. Hey, yeah, yeah. it's about so what you grab. What we more focus on do this so that you can get your papers and now yeah, like, yeah, me been coming for the papers. Exactly. You know? So go to a point and then the business mm. na fanya nini kafili zina clash. Okay, kai. That makes sense. So that's why sikumaliza. 
but said si juu bible i can preach ah unajua bible biblia yasema ya kuomba and jesus wewe kumbe hizi mtumishi za manga kuna piana yako wewe yes akawaambia you know i was invited i don't even know how they do that you know when i when i perform i exude a lot of um that bravado kelele just before I introduce a song then you create your hype you imbe yeah hey pastor flani akafurahia kona this guy can preach akaninta kanisa yake na yeye sawa mezo yalo mapijama so when the bible mimi sijui hiyo if now me my preaching is teaching me i tell you this happens because of this when you teaching si unaongea tu na mtu eh unaongea tu na mtu i think they were so disappointed he didn't work no i think they because they have seen me perform they expecting that so they want to do ushike microphone sema bibili ya sema when you nafanya kwa takawaya so they wanted you to do the same mimi siko hapo mimi nawaambia si story za yesu really disappoint manzi mko kuja kuambia mtu kwanza you know you're changing their whole theology because you're telling them how old was jesus when the wise men came to see him so watu wanajanga kwa diaper mimi nawaambia no he was about 2 years old so akuje yesu kuzaliwa I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll give you proof. Naomba maji. Naomba maji. Because when they came so wamepotea. Mhm. Wakauliza Herod ni aje ako wapi? Herod akaita watu wa scripture. Mm-hmm. Wakamwambia inaitwa Micah 52. Mm-hmm. Bethlehem Ephrata and then you go. Hapo ndio you go. Si ndio? Mm-hmm. Wakaenda wakaanza akawaambia mpitie mniambie. Mm-hmm. Ndio nini mwabudu. Mm-hmm. Wakaenda kufika hapo God akawaambia sasa mpitie hapo. Mm-hmm. Here God akona wakam akasema eh akaitao scribes tena akawaambia bus for many mniambie at around what time mm-hmm. alizaliwa. After kusema hivyo mm-hmm. Bible inakuambia anga kill kids what years and under two years and below exactly. Damn. So even when Jesus was born not what were you doing? People didn't know. People didn't know. People had no clue. Very few people maybe there. Ah wanaitangaje? Ah majai. Mhm. Na shepherds. Waleo nyo leo na star. Na ah shepherds walikuwa wanachunga kondo. Na walikuwa wanachunga zile kondo upelekwa for sacrifice. So for them it made sense. Hold up. Si kondo zote zipelekwa sasa. No, they have to be purely perfect. Pure. We are is made to work differently. They are special ones for the sacrifice. Si zote. So si kondo si random hmm? hmm. si random yeah that's all you know nani anazua anaitwa nani eh kwa sababu ndio kitabu na changu wewe msiangalia hapa muangalie how big these bottles amemaliza ni yake hapana hapana niambia flee from gluttony watafuta ni yake wacha by the time nafaa tafa kumaliza show mandazi nafaa kwa tumemaliza ah unaona area yangu vile imeenda yako ndio ijaenda Aa ah, unachukua mimi ndo nachukua hiyo. Oh mimi nifikie tunaanza side moja. Ah nakuona. Okay sawa. Nikwa kwambia nini sasa nimepotea? Nimesahau. Shepherds. Mm. That's why. Yes wali kuja kambi cha pawase kwa kwa nini kwa temple. Mhm. Walikuwa nakuja na kutafutia makosa hata mali ka shepherd ka ship kako akana makosa. Mhm. Mabii kuna makosa hapa. Sasa uweze rudi maji umetembea seme tempo liko tao mm. unaishi kiambu unatembea ama una donkey when na kondo huko kwa mbeta wrong one so it means you either have to come back or wanakuambia lakini kuna nyingine hapa unaweza nunua hii mm. which is probably three times or four times the price yeah. so hizo kwanza ma you've changed my father's house to a den of thieves wow okay mm. deep deep conversations nice mandazi mm. mandazi ko fitting mm. haya <clears throat> Tuko si bado. Tuko si. Hey, hey, hey. Crowning achievement like all through the years you have been doing music, doing gigs, going to different places, you've traveled the globe. Mm-hmm. What's your most the one that Cherished. you can Nim- crown in achievement that you can say wow. So far, nikadha. Many more will come so so. Kuimbia moi but I'll quasha retire kenda kwake huko kabarak, kabarak. Mm-hmm. kuimbia kenyata huyu huyu uhuru yeah. kuimba inauguration ya ruto oh, wow. those three and i did us tour twice those are my crowning points and there are five 
So I don't know which one beats which one. Hata mimi nishai mimi. Kwake but nilikuwa kazi. Kata yangu ilikuwa kazi but nilimsalimia. Hallelujah. Me actually alisimama hapo next na mimi but ali to this. Ah. Uh, that time we were shooting uh, for Kabarak Choir. Kabarak Choir. Oh, this is Moy now. Yes. Wow. Present Moy now. Mm. Retired and that was back in 2015. So we were filming for Kabarak uh, Chapel Choir. So we went to shoot at his home. So they were performing for him as well. Oh, wow. Wow. Kali. Kali. So after we did, he came. Na zema ya go amba. Muzione wadu wametoka Nairobi mkapigilia wamezoma sana. Ah ya 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 ya. Mbona aliwafanya hivyo? Mi there with the camera recording. Ungepindwa kamera hivi. Ah wadu wametoka Nairobi wazi kuje kuatishia ati wamezoma zaidi. Mm. Binji muwa bagabara. Mungu mbele. Oh yeah. Man. Something that really amazed me about him, you know, grew up, I've heard so many stories about Moe. But that time, you know, he preached to us. Wow. Wow. I think I have that recording in my archive somewhere. I look for it. Mm-hmm. He preached to us, as in he gave us sermon, talking about how everything, you know, okay, for him, he has witnessed literally, before he died, I think he witnessed literally everything, mm. and say how at the end of life, everything is vanity, man. Mm. And I was like, is this the Moe that... I had was ruthless yeah, imagine you know he's talking the same the same then you the vanity you the vanity i think up on the radio the radio is very well to his brother oh 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 aga bala bana moi bila yes you never my boy that's my vanity oh oh vanity bila yes you never akale karuku kake vanity ni kwa fani ya bibi ni bibi wabi ni mu wabi ni mu may so rest but oh eh yeah, it is yeah uh, so man by great man yeah, great man that, those, those are those are definitely crowning achievements mm. man hey but you have seen everything man true it's seen everything. everything like he saw everything mm. some of us were lucky we we interacted with him when we were still alive found his presidency mm-hmm. yeah. unlike some people yeah, unlike some people and you know he ruled for 24 years damn and like some ages of some people which haven't yeah, reached there imagine mo1 genzi we love you guys now before i think i think i want uh, i won't skip it huh? mm. uh, i know in um, in a aha moment you mentioned about some guys you like to work with but now this one same same almost similar but in terms of collaboration of music mm. uh maybe music or something <clears> that <throat> you like to do with them mm-hmm. certain the music mm. any kenyan cultural icon you see the icons that we read about growing up and all yeah that you would like to work on with a project um and now what kind of a project would it be Okay if it comes to music will we say Kenyan Nigerian because now Emikos <coughs> Gay has become Emikos Gay Madubuko oh, yes that would be nice that would be a nice project yeah. um is a guy called Timothy Kitui comes from Luyani mm-hmm. there's a lot of nice luya music good luya vibes mm-hmm. that's somebody I'd probably want to work with mm-hmm. yeah those are two people that like, mm-hmm. I'd like to do something with mm-hmm. ah, awesome <coughs> so, so, Timothy Kitui maskia Timothy Kitui yes Mbubu is looking for you Timothy Kitui Emi Kosgei Emi Kosgei Madubuko We miss you we miss you man we miss you we miss your music man it's been a minute man But now I I I, I understand that guess because she does she comes she records I think she's even around recording mm-hmm. then time she goes she's like first lady kwa church so she also has to you know in uh, Ansel Madubuko's church so inaelewa ka shifting both can be tricky yeah, tricky no man yeah. yeah she tries she shuffles both but it's tricky Turn it to letter number D Hey, hey. It's a dream car. Mercedes Benz as usual. Mhm. Kabisa, Mercedes gun. Uh G-Wagon. <laughs> G-Wagon. Mm. The one driven by Kenyatta. Mm. Jeff Koinanga. G-Wagon. 
hardly any people G wagon is the car. G wagon. G wagon. Same thing. For me, I'll go for a G wagon, mm. but mine has to be customized by either two customization units: mm -hmm. either Brabus or Brabus, that's mm. the B thing, mm. or Harman. Mm. You have to customize my car. You must get two Brabus. Harman Eco. They they do crazy customization mm -hmm. of cars. Yeah. So those two companies, I think, Brabus Brabus is the one that is. Uh, well known because mm. you know their customization comes with the letter B. Now for Haman, mm. they have a H. Oh, Nakuaga? Yes. Back to research. So, yeah. Normal. Yeah, really normal. G wagon. Yes. G wagon. Mm. <laughs>